this is a post from nine months ago that someone posted on reddit that got me thinking just in general about some other things i've been thinking about um when it comes to stand-up comedy and stand-up specials in general and the lack of quality overall and i guess it's kind of has kind of also come from me what listening to the travis scott album um watching the asap rocky music video riot and then also watching Oppenheimer the other day. And the fact that most art, with the exception of Oppenheimer, is like really bad nowadays. It doesn't live up to expectations. It's all a little bit mediocre, right? It's all a bit meh. And I was thinking, my kind of general hype, you know, quick hot take on it was that the reason why art is bad is because most people don't really, aren't really, you know, what does it say? Most people don't live interesting enough lives to inform their art in that respect. They're not really going out and kind of chasing experiences um going to different places um or just plain old getting inspired by different things they're not going to the theater they're not going to see plays they're not going to the opera they're not going to see ballet they're not going to see live music they're not going to see fucking djs play they're not doing anything they're not you know what i mean some of these comedians ha even have this thing where they say i don't watch specials it's like a point of pride i don't watch specials i don't watch specials and the whole premise behind i don't watch specials narrative or that rabbiting or that parroting they do which rogan also does is that the, the idea behind it is that if you watch too many specials it will somehow bleed into your own work and subconsciously you'll start telling jokes a certain way so if you spend you know seven days watching chris rock material suddenly you'll start pacing up and down the stage and shit right um and like screaming your jokes and stuff which is understandable because you know those guys are top of their craft but i also think there's a real benefit in actually watching people that are good at what they do or just anybody and seeing what that person's doing right or wrong or just getting inspired from the stuff that they're doing i generally do think most of these guys spend too much time like someone's saying on, on there i think sean is saying here sean's saying too much time on social media no i think they spend too much time on social media they spend too much time on there, too much time on podcasts, not enough time actually doing and making the art. Like a lot of these guys and girls have like 70 million pods. They're on them all week. When's the time that they actually get to watch a movie? When's the time that they go to go to a comedy club and just watch comedy? Not even go to perform. Just sit at the back and watch it. When's that actually happen where they go pop in to see a live band playing in their local bar or just a cover act or something? Like, come on, man. All of that I feel like is really influencing the comedy. This is why it's all subjective. and Sorry, it's all subpar. I feel like the excuse that you have to be in the audience, because I said it before myself, I've said it. You have to be in the audience to exp to like it. You have to be drinking to make it funny. No, 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 no. That's not true. A good movie is a good movie wherever you're watching it on your laptop or in the cinema. Um, a good band is a good band wherever you're listening to the album or seeing them live. Like, that's not an excuse. That's just a cop-out. I feel like a lot of these guys and girls aren't actually... Um, getting inspired they're clearly not doing the work outside of potting um I, I i have a theory that a lot of these guys and girls the the place where they put in most of their creative juices or our hard work is actually just podcasts they spend way more time creating artwork and thumbnails and thinking of cool titles and cool edits and clips and they actually do of their actual jokes because you know maybe the podcasting is way more lucrative who knows but i honestly do think that if we want to see an increase in better comedy we have to see an increase in people living actually interesting lives and it made me think of um this clip i saw earlier today actually when i clip this up i'll probably insert it but there's a clip of dave Chappelle um with robert glasper and i know they hang around each other anyway because i think robert glasper does a few bits and bobs for dave Chappelle when he's live they had this like kind of musical element to the show in the beginning and middle and stuff where they have djs come out people perform it's really cool but in general, there's this clip of Dave Chappelle at this random jazz festival with Robert Glasper on stage and they're just vibing to whoever's performing on stage. Dave Chappelle. And again, that, that makes complete sense to me. Whether or not you like Dave Chappelle's comedy or not, you can't say he's not constantly inspired. He's not constantly around. He's not constantly outside. You know what I mean? Around cool, interesting people doing cool, interesting things that's obviously influencing his comedy. The rest of these guys, what are they actually doing? They're just in green rooms gossiping about each other right like complaining about who has a special and who doesn't who gets paid what who's good who's a hack who's this they don't really spend time on their craft and actually being funny which is a shame because you can see it even on pods like the best pod i think we can all agree on really there's adam friedman's show adam friedman's show, show um i like beach bums and then there's matt and shane's secret podcast what do those things have in common even maybe choosing the stories maybe because it's kind of gone off the rails kind of fallen off 
But what those things have in common, even even Tim Dillon, I'd say, what those things have in common, the hosts are always trying to make each other laugh. When's the last time you've seen the majority of these pods where they're doing that? They're not really trying to make each other laugh. It is kind of going through the motions. And I think a lot of it is bleeding into the comedy now, which is why the stuff is so bad. But anyway, this Reddit post someone mentioned from nine months ago says as follows. Most comedians aren't funny. They said nine months ago, it said, um, I have an opinion that most comedians aren't funny. Don't get me wrong. There are a couple of jokes there and there and there that are okay. But I honestly believe that most of the laughing happens due to environment. When you buy tickets to a show, you're expecting to laugh. I think subconsciously your brain makes you laugh because the others do it because that's just the idea and the atmosphere. You listen, the comedian delivers their punchline and you laugh. I believe some environments are better than others, hence why some comedians are much funnier than others. But I just find it unusual because most of the times I've laughed the hardest have been from videos I've watched along, alone or with a friend. I don't think this is true personally because I feel like if you've been, if you've been to enough live music gigs, or just not even enough. If you go to any live music gig, you can go to see a band play. Like you can go see the Red Hot Chili Peppers play, and you can stand there and think this is terrible. Your own objective point of view, you could have that. I don't think because you're in a live performance and you hear someone's playing on an instrument, you're suddenly going to be like, "Oh my god, everything they're doing is amazing." Not really. If anything, live shows are the best testing ground for the artists themselves to really demonstrate how good they are, what they do because you have this whole audience just waiting to get entertained. They're kind of crossing their arms, waiting for you to entertain them. And if you can do it, you've got the whole room fucking shaking. If you can't, it gets a bit shaky. But I don't think you have to be in the audience or the crowd to enjoy live comedy. I don't think that's true. I think people are giving these comedians too much, too many excuses, too many cop-outs. I think these guys are all, for the most part, terrible because they don't actually put enough time into their craft. They're not going out and getting inspired. They're not living interesting lives. Like they spend more time talking about fucking, you know, drag queens in libraries and cancel culture and Bud Light and stuff like how, like, how, you know what I mean? These guys aren't sitting here pontificating about old specials and about bits and premises and whatnot. They just sat there bickering about nonsense, which is obviously feeding into the fucking comedy for the most part. So that's my kind of adage on it in general. That's my POV. I'm not too sure if you guys agree. What do you guys think there in the chat? in this because i honestly think most of these guys aren't living interesting lives which is what's making the comedy not be funny pods are an excuse for comedians to be lazy you can't write the many jokes and most people aren't funny in real life exactly um seven dirty exactly i agree that seven that's a good point most people aren't funny in real life like actually being funny in real life is actually harder than being funny on a fucking video you only have to see those prank channels like a good example like being funny in real life is actually hard like those prank channel guys, you see them in real life, you aren't going to laugh. But because it comes across on a video and it's edited well, it probably might get a little chuckle out of you. But actually being funny in person is not easy as people think it is. Rogan Stool Radar is always on. <laughs> Lowe's Chunk. Aryan Privilege said, as if that's the bot. They're all like, oh, no, no. Gamebred says, none of. Gamebred Footballer says, none are as funny as Paulie, Paul Chowdhury or Ricky Sher Gervais. Yeah, true. Ricky Gervais is another good one. You get one. Just constantly wants to make people laugh mark is funny yeah I've, I've heard good things about mark's new stand special i've got to check it out i've heard very good things about it mark normally especially yeah exactly everyone's saying it's really good but again mark mark's another one mark's another fucking um rare breed in that he's actually a comedian like i actually get the feeling he goes out and watches comedy you know he actually goes and watches other live stand-up comedy he has watches ones in the past he actually, you know, is sat there thinking about his fucking material. I know he does, because I remember watching, listening to the pod, choosing the stories, he's talking about having cue cards and stuff. Like, he actually takes his fucking comedy seriously, and it obviously shows with his output and shit and how funny he is in general. The funniest people aren't trying to be funny all the time. They just are true, Natashki. Um, Uche said Mark is funny too. I'm going to check out a special call. I'll check out him and Samuro on the same level. Yep, for sure. I like Samuro too. Very good deadpan delivery. I like that um but yeah i'm gonna check them out man because i don't know i feel like these people are giving these guys too many too many blies um 